During the eclipse, a few of the staff made a last-minute decision to gather some data on wildlife behavior. There is not much of this type of data due to the fact that eclipses do not happen very often and are fleeting when they do. We gathered information on some trumpeter swans and a northern ribbon snake. We watched them for one hour before the eclipse, during, and one hour after. This was gathered to contribute to the Solar Eclipse Safari Community Science Project. For the first 45 minutes, their behavior was recorded every five minutes, then two minutes, and one minute the closer we got to the maximum. This was then repeated in reverse for the second hour after the maximum. Two of the swans seemed unaffected and continued feeding almost throughout the time surveyed. The other five swans were feeding and then made their way to a small mud island where they stood preening and settling down to roost for 15 minutes before heading back out to feed. There were several snapping, painted, and blinding turtles observed on and off throughout the two hours, but they were most active within the 15 minutes or so either side of the maximum. They were seen swimming along the shoreline and in the shadows. The northern ribbon snake moved once about five minutes in and then did not move again until after we had left the site over two hours later. In the photos you can see how these snakes can easily be mistaken for the more common garter snake, but if you look closely you can see they are more slender, have richer colors, cleaner lines, and the two big giveaways are the cream colored cheek and a half moon in front of the eye.